here. Welcome to another LEGO update. And before we focus all our attention on the changes for the three broomsticks, I would like to mention that all the pieces for the Great Hall have arrived. And after I am done with this project, which should be very soon, according to my calculations, I will focus my full attention on upgrading the exterior of the Great Hall and then moving forward to this whole enormous project. So let's talk about the three broomsticks. As you can probably notice, the central pillar here is a bit taller. That's because I've raised it by three bricks. It just didn't correspond all that well with all the other windows and their respective heights. This way, it actually is a bit more uh, accurate to the original model and pictures that I've been using as reference. So this way, I've kept the distance pretty much between each window as it is. And the only thing that really worries me is that this roof should be up to here. I'm not really sure if I will modify it that way, but that will be one of the things that I will do and think about once I am actually done with this uh, whole model. Another thing that you can easily notice is that a lot of work has gone on over here and pretty much all the windows on this site are done, including the roof. I'm missing a few pieces here and there and again you can notice some tan pieces because I'm not really uh, in possession of the right colored pieces right now. Mainly these 3x4 window frames which even more have been ordered and I'm waiting on them. They just haven't arrived in time. Missing some shields here that I'm using over here. That's another reference to the original model that I decided to keep. But it was a good idea. And I've just placed some white plate on top of the roof just to stabilize it and to work on it so it looks a bit like this in the end. Referencing to the snow. Now here on the left side I have really focused on solving the issue with the snow. I'm really going for having one layer of white plate and then couple of more layers on the lower sides of the roof. The idea is that most of the snow has stacked over here around the windows, which would be logical. And on the upper side, there will be less snow, uh, less layers, fewer layers, and a bit more of the uh, back roof layer showing. That will also solve the problem of the spacing here between the plate and the plate that is over here with the windows. This is not ideal still because I want uh, these particular kind of winged pieces over here which I've ordered. It should in the end look a lot more like this. Sorry, over, the, over here. Where there isn't really any space and it really fits all together. I am really on the fence whether I should use these pieces as icicles or these ones. I kind of like these ones a bit better, but they look a bit weird because icicles shouldn't really stick like this. They should be downwards. So I'll probably end up using these instead. Still not really on the fence. These ones here serving as icicles from the uh, window kind of roof really work, but over here probably will be sticking to these ones. On the back side, I have also completed the whole layer for the um, roof. Obviously, the snow will be not so complicated, but I'll have to really work with it a little bit more. And we'll have snow again. Probably this whole place will be covered with white and we'll have some dilly dallying here around the top. But I'm really happy that I managed to follow the same math. So this side here really lines up and it's similar to the other side over here. Again, it fits with the window really nicely. And if you want to remove this, you just simply need to remove the roof, which is very easy. And this whole thing slots out. I've also worked on the back. I'm really missing these pieces here to finish. Turns out that I miscalculated it when I uh, was ordering initially and I need two more over here, also missing the shields, which have been ordered. 
and yeah, actually changed the color here. We had two layers of reddish brown plate, which uh, has been changed, so it really doesn't stick out anymore. So it looks a lot nicer. Other than that, these uh, upper two upper windows are the only thing that uh, kind of stick out and are not really completely finished. And over here, other than the color uh, mix-ups, the thing that I'm most worried about is this, because this window should kind of slot in to the roof angle, which will be a bit difficult to do. Uh, might end up using some arches or some inverted slopes. So it's I get this whole pillar closer to this angle and then I'll just use the snow to cover any access um, room that there is. So probably work on that next might take a bit of time and this roof obviously will be extended probably by two or three studs to the right. These windows over here that should look like this still have not place them because I always end up using these the frames for the windows here but I don't really, don't really need any more frames I believe I need one here and maybe some here in sight really depending on what I'll end up doing but then I'll just uh, use the next batch for finally switching these out so it doesn't really look so uh, well Awkward. Moving on, here is the second floor removed from the whole module and here is the first floor. Really happy to say that the flooring on the first floor is completely finished and perhaps you can notice that the chairs here and there are missing the back railing. Still waiting on those pieces and some of the tables have uh, their texture still missing because I'm not really sure what minifigs I will put where and what items they will require in front of them, whether that be foods or drinks. The minifigs that I believe have showed you last time have uh, their positions fixed still with Slughorn here, Ginny and Dean Thomas over here, and Tyrone and Hermione over here where they should be with this part over there. Other than that, not really much else has been changed and I believe the only thing I'm really thinking about is that I should add some more interior somehow along the, the walls but still haven't found really a good way to do that without really forcing it. Here is the second floor with the roof removed from the back only and over here, whoops let's do that, and over here unfortunately the interior of uh, this room is still unfinished not even started actually and over here I'm not really sure how exactly the flooring will be but even though I said that flooring should be one of the last things you do I uh, ended up starting it because I decided that these will be the fixed positions of the tables that will be present so I broke down all the tables that were present here I believe three tables like this one and ended up making one and then another three tables of different size. Well, this one and this one are the same size. This one is inverted and this one will be a three by three. So obviously they're not really done, the chairs and the tables, but the positions are fixed, which means that I've placed the studs underneath so they can't really move. Move this table a little bit, I believe one or two studs to the left and one stud closer to me, closer to the camera because it was interacting with the angle of the roof over here. Yeah, that's not good enough. Now obviously I'll work over here to hide some of the things and you can see a lot of tan over here which will be replaced pretty soon. But these support pillars over here, I'll probably hide them somehow or place some interior that hides them whether it be flowers or paintings or I'll just build some additional uh, stacks and layers of bricks so it just seems like it's gradually part of the wall. And with that I believe I've covered all the changes of the three broomsticks mock since the last time. Once again I really like to thank you for the support, all the comments, all the feedback. I've re been receiving some really great suggestions of what minifigs and interactions to put in this nice building that I'm making. 
the end is very near and all the pieces actually are in the mail that I've been waiting for. I know how to use them and where to place them. So next time I feel like we'll have only the finishing touches remaining for this building and I'll be able to move to the big great hall like before. So if you'd like to support me and give me any kind of feedback, you can always follow me on YouTube or on Instagram, or you can come on Discord and share your thoughts with me there. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Stay healthy, happy building, and bye-bye. <laughs>